Good morning, friends. Happy, happy Sunday. I have decided that this morning I am going to make some banana bread because I have three old bananas here and instead of letting them go to waste, I'm going to mash them up and put them in some bread. So I'm just getting out the ingredients right now for that. I just looked up a recipe on foodnetwork.com. I don't have a recipe that's my go-to banana nut bread recipe. But let's see, I'm gonna need some flour first of all. I think I have all the ingredients. Actually, I know I have all the ingredients except for the nuts. Let me see if I have walnuts. I have pecans. Can pecans go in banana nut bread instead of walnuts? I think so. I think that's what I'm just gonna have to do. I'm just gonna put in some um, put in some pecans instead of walnut. It's gonna have to work. Here's the flour, salt, and baking soda mixture, the brown sugar and the butter, eggs and the vanilla extract, bananas, and the pecans. Pickles. Get those pickles in there. Get those pickles. Pickles everywhere. See the pickles. Does everyone like pickles or are there people that don't like pickles? Who out there doesn't like pickles? If you don't like pickles, post in the yeah, comment please leave section. A comment. We would like to know. We would like to know you. We're at the grocery store, obviously, doing some grocery shopping. Gotta make some lentil soup. Maybe not tonight, but sometime this week. What's that? You're making cake. Thought that was interesting. Yeah, let's go look at that. I want to know what that looks like. Okay. Hold on, let me just grab the things on this aisle that I need. What did you just grab? I got raisin bran. Shoop. And then I got almond milk. Shoop. I don't want vanilla. I want oh, no, 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 no. We hate original, vanilla. But original. But I want the unsweetened original. Maybe I think it's they just might be out of it. I guess I could just get this. It's the original. It just is not unsweetened. It's not like the sweetened either. Well, it's just original. Why don't you get this guy? This one? And sweet, yeah. Okay. It is a dollar more, but All right. we'll just do it one time. I mean, they have this one here, too. And sweet original. It's a little bit cheaper. Okay. It's right here. Okay. It comes with a jug, a pipe, some materials. Cool. A steel plane, that's kind of neat. I thought it would be more intricate than that for some reason. These baskets are pretty. All right, let's carry on. What's next on the list? This is a Reed's grocery haul. Raisin bran, organic, one carrot, two celery, vegetable stock, onion, multi-grain waffles, tomatoes, um, bacon, lentil beans, grapes, almond milk, Unsweetened, ginger ale, sweetened with 100% cane sugar. These are pretty good if you like ginger ale. A very gingery taste. And that's it. Thank you for joining us for another Reed's Grocery Haul. Hey friends. Happy Tuesday. I'm getting ready to make some lentil soup for lunch. So it's lunchtime. Oh, there's a dog back here. Sorry for the, the loud barking dog. Um, but I need some oregano, so I'm gonna get some out of the garden here. All right, got my oregano. The veggies are ready. I went ahead and chopped them up, along with the onions and the garlic and a little bit of oregano I got out of the garden. I'm gonna let these lentils soak for about 15 minutes in some warm water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and saute the onions and the garlic in this pot with some seasonings. If you're interested in this lentil soup recipe, I do have this recipe on cooking with Aubrey on my playlist. Um, it's really old and I'm kind of changing the recipe today. Like for example, I think in that cooking with Aubrey video I used leeks, but I don't have any leeks so I'm just going to leave that out. And then I'm adding fresh tomatoes today, which I don't think are in the cooking with Aubrey video. I was watching that video. It was pretty embarrassing. Um, <laughs> it was old. It's an old video. One of the first Cooking with Aubrey videos I did. And I actually haven't done a Cooking with Aubrey video in a long time. But uh, just kind of a new experience for me at the time. So you, it's just embarrassing to watch it and go back and see how I was filming at the time. But 
anyway it's all good I mean I used it it was still helpful to me to see what I did that day um, to like kind of have a little refresher hello YouTube Matt here I am going to the dentist today I made an appointment and they're gonna check me out and do some x-rays I've been having a little bit of sensitivity in my molars especially after I eat something sweet so I wonder if I have some cavity starting uh, anyway I'm also gonna get a cleaning it's been a long time too long since I've been to the dentist last time I went to the dentist is when I got my wisdom teeth pulled and that was at least more than a year ago I don't remember exactly how long that was no that's been over two years anyway so that's uh, at two o'clock today I'll be going to do that and that's about it I'm working until then here's the final product with the lentil soup I paired it with a little bit of white rice. And the dentist office is across the street from a lake and also a park. So I decided to come over here while he's at his appointment. And I'm trying to find a shady spot with like a bench or something that I can sit in. I think there might be one up ahead. It's a pretty big lake, so I don't want to walk all the way around it. Um, I mean, I probably could, depending on how long Matt's appointment is going to take, but I'm trying not to stray too far so that if he gets out of his appointment, you know, I don't have to walk that far back. If I had been thinking, I could have grabbed the blanket that I keep in the back of Matt's car. He has a blanket that we use sometimes when we go to the park, and then I could have just sat under a tree instead of looking for a bench or something. I found a little spot under a tree it's facing the lake. You can actually see where I walked from. You can see far enough. Let me zoom in. The dental office is in that building right there in the middle of the screen. This is a new dental office for Matt, um, a doctor that he's never been to before. If he likes it, if he has a good experience, I'm probably going to go back in a week or two or whatever they can get me on the calendar and go back and get just a general checkup for myself too because it's been a while since I've been to the dentist and I need to go. I've got a new job application that I'm going to be putting in soon. Um, there's a museum in Denver who's looking for some school program facilitators or school program teachers for the museum so um, that's due on the 27th and I have to send that in by mail. I can't submit it electronically so Either tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to get that resume and cover letter typed up that they want applicants to send in. And then I will probably go to like FedEx Kinkos or something and get it printed on like a nice kind of cardstock material and then send it in to them so that it gets to them by the 27th. I can't believe that it's halfway through July already. I feel like July just got here. Man, time's just flying by. Well, I'm back from the dentist, got my teeth cleaned, and uh, they said I don't have any cavities. Everything looked good. So, uh, you know, my teeth were a little bit sensitive when I was eating sweet stuff, and they said that sometimes that can happen if you haven't had your teeth cleaned in a while, which I haven't. So uh, they also gave me some Sensodyne toothpaste. I guess it helps with tooth sensitivity. So we'll see how that goes. But it's good to know that I don't have cavities and I'm not gonna have, any, have to get any fillings. So that was... Good news. Aubrey made an appointment too, so she's gonna go later this week. Can you all guess where we're at? We're at Target. We're here to get some Drano for the bathtub, but we decided we're just gonna look around first, see what's happening at Target. Where are we heading to, Matt? Uh, I don't know. Electronics, maybe? The electronics section? I thought you might say that. Just walking in public with the camera like this, is this strange for you? A little bit. A little strange, a little strange for me as well. But I just tend to push through it. I just, I just don't care. Yeah, oh no, I do. I care. But I just push through it. Just push through the awkwardness. It's kind of, kind of nice. But you know what? After you wash that... Shrink up. And that shrink is just going to look really bad probably have to iron it to get it look how it looks right now. That's something we don't do is iron. We do not iron a lot. Even though 
growing up, I remember ironing a lot more than I do now, but I can't tell you the last time I ironed something. It's only 400. <laughs> Jeez. Only 400.